good morning students today we are going to learn about sexual reproduction in plants students we have already done with sexual reproduction in animals right so by now you know what is sexual reproduction so what is sexual reproduction yes it is a kind of reproduction in which the baby organisms are produced due to the fusion of male and female gametes so if you see the general schema of sexual reproduction in animals the female parent produces ovum male parent produces sperm these two gametes they fuse to form a structure called zygote and this fusion process is called as fertilization the product of fertilization that is zygote later undergoes repeated cell division to produce a structure called embryo and this embryo continues its development and finally produces baby this is how sexual reproduction takes place in most of the animals now what about plants do we find same kind of fertilization here too yes of course so in plants also there occurs fusion between male and female gametes but here the fertilization is called as a double fertilization and it yields two products unlike animals that is zygote and endosperm here only zygote is produced but in plants zygote and endosperm are produced so the zygote soon after the formation it undergoes rapid cell division and forms embryo like that of animals and endosperm it finally forms cotyledons so these two structures together form seed and this seed upon germination produces baby plant so this is the broad uh, structure of sexual reproduction in plants so anti plants lo plants lo kuda ilage fusion jarugutundi deenni ikkada double fertilization antaru like animals lo laga kaakunda ikkada rendu products produce avutayi zygote endosperm zygote embryo ga maartundi ఎండోస్పర్మ్ కార్టిలిడాన్స్ గా మారుతాయి ఈ రెండింటినీ కలిపితేనే సీడ్ తయారవుతుంది ఈ సీడే జర్మినేషన్ తర్వాత బేబీ ప్లాంట్ గా ప్రొడ్యూస్ అవుతుంది సో లెట్ ఎస్ నౌ గో ఇన్ టు ద డీటెయిల్స్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ ఈవెంట్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డబుల్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ సో ఫర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ టు టేక్ ప్లేస్ దర్ షుడ్ బీ ద ఫ్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ మేల్ అండ్ ఫీమేల్ గ్యామెట్స్ రైట్ సో వేర్ ఆర్ ద మేల్ గ్యామెట్స్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇన్ ప్లాంట్స్ so male gametes are present inside pollen grains when i spoke about the structure of pollen grains i have already told that pollen grains contain two male gametes so these are the two male gametes and where are these pollen grains present they are present in the pollen chambers of anthers and anther is a part of stamen stamen is the male reproductive structure of the flower so these are the stamens understood now what about the female gamete female gamete is also called as ovum and this ovum is present inside embryo sac so uh, this embryo sac structure was also done already and you have studied that embryo sac contains the female gamete called ovum so here it is where is this embryo sac present this embryo sac is present inside ovule uh, this is the ovule where is this ovule present ovule is inside ovary this bulbous structure is ovary and ovary is the part of the female reproductive structure called carpel and this female's reproductive structure is here understood so the female reproductive structure carpel contains the female gamete inside embryo sac and the male reproductive structures called stamens contain male gametes inside the pollen grains now students how these pollen grains are brought into sorry the how these male gametes are brought inside embryo sac so that is by pollination so pollen grains are first brought to the stigma by pollination so see here the pollen grains are brought by a bee to the stigma stigma is the part of carpel right this is done by the bees here and this process is called as the pollination students this pollination is of two types self pollination and cross pollination in self pollination the pollen grains are transferred within the flower 
that is the pollen grains of a flower are brought to the stigma of the same flower or it may be between two flowers of the same plant so if the pollen grains are transferred within the same flower or between the flowers of the same plant then that is called as self pollination then what about cross pollination cross pollination is between two flowers of different plants so if the pollen grains are transferred between two flowers of two different plants then that is called as cross pollination so this is how the pollen grains are brought over the female reproductive part called carpel so for self pollination the examples are rice pea etc for cross pollination mango datura etc now students uh, how are these pollen grains brought it is always bees no there are several pollinating agents insects air water animals human beings even human beings act as pollinating agents so by some agent the pollen grains are brought over the stigma of the flowers understood students so now our pollen grains are on the stigma that is the female reproductive part now this female reproductive part the stigma of the female reproductive part produces sugary substances for the pollen grain and the, these pollen grains which are brought over here they absorb these sugary substances and they germinate germinate in the sense that they produce tube like structure see here these are the pollen grains and these are the tubes the production of this tube like structures is what is called as a germination as they germinate the pollen tube moves down through the style of the carpel and then it reaches the ovary region once it reaches the ovary region it enters into the ovule and inside ovule it enters into embryo sac understood students pollen grain no din meed padin tarvata din meed koncham sugary juices untayi dan absorb cheskoni tube lanti structures ni produce chesayi a tube lopaliki penetrate ayi lopaliki style dwara enter ayi ovary degarku ostundi ovary degarku vachaka ovule lopal keltundi ovule lopala embryo sac lopal keltundi now the pollen tube is inside embryo sac once it is inside the embryo sac at the pollen tube tip tip of the pollen tube ruptures and releases the male gametes present inside it so the male gametes are now inside embryo sac so how many male gametes are present two male gametes so one male gamete fuses with the egg and the product is zygote so one male gamete fuses with the ovum and gives rise to a structure called zygote next there is one more male gamete right the second male gamete it fuses with the polar nuclei of the central cell so this is the central cell this big cell is the central cell and this Uh, the nuclear of this central cell so the second male gamete fuses with the polar nuclei of the central cell and forms a structure called a triploid nucleus so triploid means here three nuclei are joining right so it is called as a triploid nuclei or a triploid nucleus and this cell this central cell is now called as endosperm cell so if fusion tarvata a uh, second male gamete to e polar nuclei to fuse ayina tarvata central cell ni endosperm cell antaru understood now uh, this fusion is called as triple fusion because already two nuclei are there and again the third nucleus of the second male gamete is fusing with this so because three nuclei are joining this process is called as a triple fusion understood students now this whole events the two events that have occurred that is the first male gamete which has fused with egg and has resulted in zygote this process is called as simple fertilization and the second process which is called as triple fusion these two together that is the first fertilization and the triple fusion is called as double fertilization understood students so two times the fusion is happening one is between ovum and the first male gamete the second is between the second male gamete and this polar nucleus because of this two fusions it is called as double fertilization did you understand so 
రెండు మెయిల్ గ్యామెట్స్ రిలీజ్ అయినాయి ఒక మెయిల్ గ్యామెట్ ఓమ్ తో ఫ్యూజ్ అయ్యి జైగోడ్ ని ఫామ్ చేసింది ఇంకో మెయిల్ గ్యామెట్ పోలార్ న్యూక్లియస్ తో ఫ్యూజ్ అయ్యి ఎండోస్పర్మ్ సెల్ ని ఫామ్ చేసింది ఇదంతా కలిపి ఇప్పుడు ఎండోస్పర్మ్ సెల్ ఎండోస్పర్మ్ సెల్ లోపల ఏముంది మనకి జైగోట్ ఉంది అండర్స్టూడ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ రెండు సార్లు ఫ్యూషన్ జరిగింది కాబట్టి ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ డబల్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ నా వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ దిస్ డబల్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ వాట్ చేంజెస్ అక్కర్ యాజ్ ఐ సెడ్ earlier zygote repeatedly divides divides and forms a structure called embryo see here here zygote was formed and that has become a structure like this because of repeated division and this is called as embryo so embryo is formed from zygote then the triploid nucleus which has formed here divides rapidly and forms a storage tissue called as endosperm so see here the polar nucleus has become this yellow region this whole yellow region is endosperm understood students so triploid nucleus baga divide ayipoyesi mottham ikkada anta kuda ee region anta kuda oka yellow i mean oka storage tissue form avutundi dane em antarante endosperm antaru now this endosperm slowly accumulates food materials and so the ovule increases in size the local food materials anta vachi accumulate avutayi endosperm loka lokalaki because it is the storage tissue and it is going to feed the embryo to develop into the baby plant in future so slowly it increases in size and because of the increase in this tissue the size of the ovule also increases and finally this ovule now becomes seed understood students so ovule the whole ovule turns into seed due to the accumulation of storage tissue called endosperm now students the integuments of the ovule i told no when i said the ovule structure i told ovule has two wall layers called seed i mean integuments those integuments they turn into seed coat understood so what has happened because of the accumulation of food materials the ovule increases in size and it turns into seed the walls of the ovule turn into seed coat now this whole structure has become seed now what about the re- the surrounding region this is called as ovary right this ovary turns into fruit so now this has become fruit and this has become seed that is what is shown here fruit with seed what about the style uh, stigma and the other floral parts uh, that is stamens uh sepals petals what has happened to them they all shed off avanni padipothai only uh, the ovule matramo seed ga maripothundi ovary fruit ga maripothundi understood students these are the events that occur after double fertilization now students let us understand what is there in this embryo because this embryo is the future plant right so let us see the structure of embryo now so this is what is embryo embryo has this is a seed students inside seed what we what we have we have embryo and endosperm right so endosperm will turn into cotyledons so this is the endosperm region endosperms uh, the endosperm becomes cotyledons and this axis the central green axis is the embryo this axis contains two important parts the axis which is just above the cotyledons so these are the cotyledons and this region which is over the cotyledons cotyledons ke pain unna e axis region ne it is called as plumule and the region which is just below cotyledons the axis which is just below cotyledons is called as radical the plumule is the future shoot and the radical is the future root that is upon germination upon seed germination the plumule develops into shoot system and radical develops into root system understood so now let us see how uh, seed germination takes place to produce the baby plant so see here students this is the structure of a seed so inside seed what are present we find an embryo with plumule and radical and we find a big region which is called as cotyledon this was endosperm before 
and has become cotyledons now and this cotyledons feed the embryo until this embryo becomes a small baby plant understood so when seeds are sown in soil and the conditions are favorable that is when water air and right temperature are present the seed absorbs water and swells up water ni absorb cheskoni seeds upputai anamata swell up avutai when water is plentifully available the enzymes present in the seeds get activated the lopal unde enzymes anta kuda activate avutai anamata what are enzymes students enzymes are bio catalyst right so what is a catalyst catalyst is that which speeds up chemical reactions similarly our enzymes they speed up biochemical reactions that is why they are called as biocatalysts got it now due to the rapid biochemical reactions the cell division occurs very rapidly at plumule and radical point so when the cells continuously divide the plumule comes out as shoot system and root Uh, the radical comes out as root system got it students once the shoot system produces the first leaves the cotyledons they wither away so first leaves produce in a ventane cotyledons are not dry ayipothay because there is no need of cotyledons now because uh, already the young leaves are there they are ready to produce food by photosynthesis as the photosynthesis continues this baby plant will grow into adult plant got it so this is how sexual reproduction turns flower into fruit and fruit contains seeds seeds then germinate to produce baby plants got it students i hope you all understood this session thank you